Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Thayre Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz on lead chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with this game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, without wasting any further time, let's start off with this game and see how it goes. I will play the Karukan defense and I've got the black pieces. I up my bishop on f5, play pawn e6. Opponent has played a, a very good opening here. He has his castle on the king side. Structure is pretty nice. We can develop our like, dark square bishop now. Maybe queen as well on c7, just uh, lining up the diagonal, which might be helpful someday. Can safeguard my bishop for now so that if he now takes, I open up the x file. That's what happens, so I don't mind it. I'll take this. He takes with the bishop. I go on with my knight with the tempo attacking the bishop. Bishop goes back. I can develop the other knight as well. Okay. I can castle on the queen side. I don't mind doing that and just line up and just. Trying to destroy the opponent there. How's that for an idea? Uh, let's wait for some more moves. Okay, let's wait. Um, this is possible, this is possible. He's willing to exchange everything. Does he really want to get an end game with me? Because no, I don't mind that any day. He's just moving his bishop multiple times. Okay, I'll ask him if he really wants to take this. Ah, he would probably. Um, should I consider cancelling? Okay, uh, I'll start with this first. Giving him a hint that I'll not cast on this side of the board. Now probably he'll start playing this. He still doesn't. What does he want? Maybe to lose a piece, but then I also lose because he takes on this first. So I'll first castle. Now this is on, big time. So you better be careful with this coming next. F5 would be troublesome. Okay, he's packing my rook. So I just double up on the file. Now this is a threat. So he plays pawn forward, which means he cannot defend both. I think it's game over already. I get to fix my pawn structure as well, so why not? Okay, he goes back and now I'll and attacks the pawn as well. So I have to be careful with these small little things which open does. I'll try to defend with the rook maybe. Yes, that works. Uh, bishop here won't help because he gets to take on the pawn first. He tries to double up, but I doubt he wants to lose his queen for a rook and a pawn. So that's just a bluff. Okay, knight doesn't work much. I would like to exchange the bishop. This is annoying. And once it goes off, I this is the only defender of the king side, I think. So he does take. I'll take with the rook instead of the queen so that everything is guarded. He'll probably double up as well, which we don't care much about because we are going in with the knight attacking the rook. And let's see where he goes. He goes there. Ah, house pawn forward it looks very tempting when I don't want to give free pawns. Rather, I now like to exchange queens of the board because that's all he has got. And he still takes it. Okay, tries to double up. And it doesn't matter because I have a king as well, which is in the center, defends the pawn, so all sorted. Can come back sweetly, maybe play here, knight. And the knight is not going anywhere unless he plays this. So, yep. Um, should I play pawn too much forward and give it away? Or oh, wait, I'll just play it slow and then come here next. You don't need to rush into this. He is nowhere in control of this game so far. Why right, to give him a chance? And now I'm playing pawn forward next. This side is closed and controlled by my knight as well as pawns. Okay, he's trying to break through from there, but it won't work. Let's take, I'll take this. Now this is threat. 
which he says for now, but I can double up because he's not doubling up. I can. If he tries to save with the rook, he's again just misleading his rook to somewhere else where it doesn't belong actually. I can play pawn forward, but that would be problematic too. Uh, I'll go here with the idea of coming here. So he saves, but now I can come to the bottom and come here and then take on this pawn. Yes, you cannot save everything, my friend. So yeah, you will have to lose out on something or the other. Well, I think I should take this first and let him take. No, I'll take this first. Okay. Um, I've got this move, which can be annoying. So he saves, uh, but I have a knight which can be moved. So I don't need to worry about that. I'll come here. Maybe someday play this and then try to attack. Um, okay, I'll take this pawn for now. Maybe go up as well. Next move. Okay, he's trying to come to the center, which makes me wonder that he's going to lose one more pawn in the process. Let's take it. Okay, pushing the pawn forward, I'll take. And I'll come here behind the pawn. I'll try to remain safe. And there's no such threat as of now. So he goes back instead. Pawn forward means a check and he has to go back. No other option. Rook is saved, so I don't need to be bothered about. I go on with my knight here, attacking the rook. A check is possible, but he doesn't give anyway. But lose the rook. So thank you so much. And now he can resign. Yeah, that's what he does. So yeah, a pretty smooth game, I would say. Uh, I didn't do any fancy stuff here. Just tried to exchange wherever opponent was trying to. And it was comfortable at the end. So let's analyze this game, how it went pretty smooth. So that's because of the Karukan defense. Uh, opponent starts with knight f3. I play c6 instead. He tries to free and get all this bishop from uh g2 so he plays pawn g3 first i play d5 open plays bishop g2 i get my bishop out on f5 open castles and i play e6 solid pawn structure in the center this pyramid is pretty nice uh important thing bishop is out of the pyramid so it's active probably looking forward to exchange with the knight or maybe someday pin this knight after the pawn is played forward so that yeah, there's a continuous pressure on the queen and the knight. That's how generally bishop lies in the Karakhan defense. Opera responds with d4, and I played bishop to d6, trying to develop my dark square bishop as well now. Of course, if I go here, I can expect a move like uh, c3 or a3, where I will have to move my bishop, so I don't want to keep moving my pieces in the opening, but rather develop some new pieces, which are just pending on their original squares. So I developed my bishop on d6 uh, with the idea of always I'm the king side diagonal as well. Uh, open plays c3. I play queen to c7 so that now of course I'm doubling up on this beautiful diagonal which makes my opponent a bit impatient and instead of developing other pieces uh, which are yet to be developed, he tries to kick my bishop away straight away by developing his knight on h4. So I bring my bishop back on g6 and he does take. I take back with the h pawn. Now I have a, this beautiful uh, file opened as well for the attack. And here my opponent plays e4 uh, and I take the pawn because if I don't take, next move will be playing e5 and that closes my bishop and queen's diagonal. Uh, and of course, as you see, I'm trying to create pressure on h2 eventually. So this pawn can be a problem. So I took on the pawn, opponent takes back with the bishop, I develop the knight on f6 and this is how you should develop your pieces when you are developing as well as attacking uh, the opponent's pieces. So it's developing with the tempo, bishop goes back and I develop the other knight as well on d7. Now I'm okay to cast either side of the board, opponent uh, plays knight d2, I bring my knight on b6. Open tries to exchange knights and we do because otherwise he can take on the knight or my bishop as well, which spoils the battery again. So I took on the knight, he takes back with the bishop and probably it's, it's bishop's fourth or fifth move already uh, in 14 moves. 
which is not good. As I always say, don't repeat your moves in the opening. But he had to. There's no. There was no much. Not not much choice there. I played rook h7. Now this clearly indicates that I'll castle on the queen side uh, because I'm trying to double up on the rooks uh, on the h file. But Auburn generally has a plan of playing uh, h4 to stop that. But again, this double pawns help me in this way as well because now I can push a pawn and sacrifice it so that uh, the double rooks always help me. Opponent plays G, queen g4 here, which was um, bad, I would say, because it's always eyeing this beautiful uh, folk of the bishop and the queen. Uh, but remember, you cannot be hurried into it because if I straight away play this, now that is bad because queen takes on g6, that comes with a check, my rook is hanging, and nothing can be saved. So if I try to defend, of course, opponent will take on the rook. He wins a rook and a free pawn. And what did we do? We just uh, win a uh, pawn, uh, the bishop there. And now opponent can develop his bishop as well. And we are nowhere near to saving this. Even if uh, opponent tr tries to exchange queens of the board, that's also possible. Or otherwise, uh, oh, so this rook was defended with the knight. So that's not going to work. But yeah, then still uh, opponent can come back and try to maybe exchange the queen someday or that of the bishop as computer was suggesting trying to block this diagonal for the king. And as you see, white is way ahead in this game. But instead, I I saw that coming, so I just castle on the queen side first. Now I have my rooks uh, ready to be lined up. Uh, and this is on its way. My opponent plays a uh, bishop to g5. And I just double up because I want to save my rook first before going for the attack. Here my opponent plays h4, which was bad, because I now get to play f5 and he cannot save both the pieces. However, in the previous move, computer suggesting that bishop can go back and you can afford to lose a pawn, but that's it, because you will not lose more than that. Uh, of course, I cannot give a check from here because bishop is standing. So opponent can save his bishop and just give a free pawn, but opponent didn't see that. So instead he tried to just bring his bishop back bishop here after that uh, and play pawn forward so that this is guarded with the bishop as well as the pawn as well as the queen but what he misses was f5 and now he ha he made a terrible choice here by taking on the pawn uh, as well i take back rectify my pawn structure which was bad because of i took with the h pawn in the beginning and attacks the queen queen goes back now again, I uh, have to be careful uh, by before playing anything. Uh, as you see, queen went there. So what was the purpose? Why open played queen to e2 and not any other square? Because he was trying to eye this pawn. He wanted to compensate with a couple of more pawns because pawns hold a value of plus one. And bishop was three, what he lost. So he got, he got a pawn there when he was losing a bishop. But then he wants to cover up for mo with more pawns. So he's trying to take on the e pawn. So I try to defend that with the rook. And then he doubles up. Of course, he will not take here. I can play pawn forward, but I try to play solid here. Queen to d7. Open brings queen to f3 now. And I uh, got to exchange. I wanted to exchange pieces of the board because I am ahead in the game. And open responds by exchanging the bishop. I take with the rook. Trying to make sure that even if he develops double ups on this on the file attacking my pawn, I have my rook in front, and then I go on with my knight uh, to c4 attacking the rook. Rook goes back again. Wise move by my opponent trying to defend the pawn simultaneously. Otherwise, anywhere else uh, the opponent loses pawn. So then I try to exchange queens of the board, and. Frankly speaking, you should never do that because opponent should not do that because he's behind in the game, but he did take. And let me have a good control in the center. Now I've got knight extra. I've probably got a good pawn structure as well. King is probably going to step up on d7 and save the pawn as well. So I'm pretty much in control as I've got extra piece and pawn structure is pretty good as well. Tries to kick my knight and I go back. He tries to play pawn forward and I play g6, which was slow. But I wanted to play slow and probably kick him badly. He tries to go on the other side of the board trying to break stuff. Uh, but that was too late because I started 
breaking from the other side already. So I played one forward he had to take. And once he does, I take as well. He goes up to uh, king to f2. And I then develop on the file. Again, he has to bring back his rook, repeating the moves with... Uh, so going over the other side was of no purpose. He should have first broken up from the pawn chain and then got his rook active. But instead, he goes with the rook and then comes back, just wasting moves. And then, since I played rook on h5, he tries to save uh, this uh, check coming. So he had to play rook up again, and which gives me space uh, in the bottom. So I go there. He tries to defend pawn, but how many he can because he has too many to be defended. And my rook is active. Uh, here I took on the pawn first. He does take back. And then I get my rook on b4. Again, this is a nice rook move pressurizes everything if pawn forward also again i have this as well but i have to safeguard my knight so that's what opponent does trying to attack my knight i go back on f7 he goes up with the king but loses the pawn and then he tries to get other rook as well i took another pawn there just trying to clean up stuff took on this pawn and then i went to uh, c6 again it's a good move because uh, i don't want him to come down and my knight is guarding it uh, and I, I'm not letting him push pawn forward as well because I'm now in the way. Uh, yes, he can get this pawn, but nothing more than that. So he goes back instead. I go on with pawn forward, which defends my rook as well. He goes uh, to f2 and I come with my knight on uh, e5 here, attacking the rook. He has the best move as I was said, saying in the game as well now that he can give a check. Uh, and I can go back so there's no threats as such as I told in the game as well. But yeah that's it more or less and he cannot do anything further from here yes he can attack or just go up um, i can of course take and then he has to run away i have second rook as well lined up i can come here give checks from everywhere mostly and someday soon he'll fall into a folk uh, with this king and rook hanging and he'll lose it from here so that was pretty much over there uh I took on the, and he actually played a rook to uh, d4 there by mistake, and I took it, and that was what the last move was, and he designed. I hope you liked the video. There were a few lessons. Do not make such moves where there is no intent, because uh, as I said, he's just trying to break pawns open, but before uh, breaking this pawn chain open and breaking from the uh, queen side, he got his rook there for no use because rook wasn't doing any much, anything. And then when I played my rook onto h file, he had to come back and defend the situation. So don't play moves where you have to repeat them uh, quite often. Try to play solid and you will find your ways to win. I hope uh, that was good enough and thank you for watching. Um, keep sharing and commenting. Do let me know your feedback and let me know if something else has to be covered. Keep watching and sharing. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.